I first read about Vanek freaking in a science fiction novel. Actually, it was Neil Stevenson's Cryptonomicon. And it was, the idea was that every CRT monitor puts out electromagnetic radiation, which in theory, if you intercepted and interpreted, you could see what was displayed on that monitor. Yeah. Van Eck freaking. There must have been a guy named Van Eck who figured this out. Yeah, there must have been. I, I don't know exactly where it originated from. But, but I uh... thought it was sci-fi. So did I. So did I until I came across this program. But let's show everybody at home exactly what we're talking about. We okay. got a nice little animation. This uh, is check this out. A demo here. This is a demo. Let's say you're sitting at home. Okay. You know, you're doing a little web browsing, surfing around on you're Amazon. You're broadcasting. You're broadcasting. Those frequencies are going outside of your monitor. Someone could potentially sit there and then pick up a mirror image of exactly what you're doing just by picking up those frequencies and then reinterpreting them with a special proprietary software. There have to be a lot of things in place to make now, that happen. Now, before we make everybody paranoid and crazy yes. and looking for vans and black helicopters, right. we should say we don't know that this is possible. We don't know that this exists, but the government did have a top secret program called Tempest. This is in the 60s in the or 60s, 70s. In the 60s, in the 70s. So you gotta, you gotta think that if we can demo what we're about to do today, that they, they have the technology. If it's possible, they're doing it. If it's possible, they're doing it. And no we'll show you, it. what we're going about to show you, we'll give you an idea that it might be possible. Might be possible. Check so what do you got out. here? This is a standard Linux box. This is okay. running Red Hat. Okay. And there's an open source program that's named after the top secret program called Tempest. Mm -hmm. And so what I'm going to do is I'm in a shell, and I'm going to launch uh, the program called Tempest. And it's going to display a bunch of different bars and graphs across the screen. Now, let me show you exactly what I'm going to do. Here I have a shortwave radio. Take a look at What this frequency here. are you going to tune this uh, to? This right here I'm going to set to uh, right around 10 megahertz. Hertz of the short wave okay. is, is what it's set to. And what it's going to do is these bars are going to be displaying on the screen. Yeah. And without a sound card, without anything, just by the frequencies that the monitor's picking up, it's going to be able to pick up the MP3 that I'm playing on here without any wires, without anything, right on the radio. All right, let's see. Okay, that can't so be. I we'll don't launch believe it right it. here. All right. And there's the bars. Let's so, turn on the so radio. So what you're seeing on the screen is actually generating RF. Yep. That's the MP3 right there. <laughs> Fury Lee says, you've never heard it before. That is bizarre. Isn't that crazy? Now, it's a, a bit of a jump to say I could go from being able to hear th those bars to seeing I could see what's on your screen. But the, you can see the principles there. Right, the, the RF principle is coming there. off of that. I mean, look, at these images are displaying those frequencies. Right. I mean, if we could just to figure out what images correspond to which frequencies, wow. you could build something that would, you know, pick those up. Now, one of the things, the whole, I think the whole purpose of Tempest was to figure out how to harden your hardware against this kind of exactly. eavesdropping. Exactly, and that's a, actually we can take a lot from those top secret documents that they've now unveiled and learn from them and figure out exactly how to protect our own homes or exactly how to shield our own homes from any of this getting outside right. the house. That's, this is where this stuff comes this in. This is where this stuff comes what in. What is this? This here is a, uh, is a Faraday cage. Okay. And this is a copper mesh. Actually, the mesh that's used in this cage here is actually the same mesh that they have in the Tempest document. This is Tempest spec, and we got it uh, from a, uh, an actually a local supplier here. There's a company that's sells this stuff. Yes, there's a company that sells it. And um, it's, it's pretty cool. Let me show you this exactly how it works. TWP Inc.? Is yeah, that? TWP Inc. is the, the people that supplied it. Okay. And let me show you how it works. Let's turn this to an FM radio. There's TWP Inc. Okay, so we're listening to Chaka Khan. We're putting it in the box. Now already, can, this reception is getting bad. But the second we close the cage, nothing, nothing but static. It doesn't See? penetrate. A little bit of signal, complete static. Wow. So that's completely blocking out any of the frequencies that it's putting. Now, shortwave, same thing. If you put a shortwave in here, turn it up. Nothing. Silence. Nothing. Open it up. And so, so what does this mean? I've got to put myself in the box. No, what like you this? have to do. No, you don't, you don't have to do that. You can buy this stuff to actually line your walls with it. Or you put can, it inside the drywall. You can the, build uh, a bigger wall. one like this here and actually put this around, around <laughs> your monitor. <laughs> Now that's what I do at home. And then what? You, you don't have what to do, do this you do? at home. How do you see the monitor? Well, you can look through this mesh grating here, <laughs> or check this out. This is actually pretty cool. Look at this. This looks like satin and actually feels like satin. Oh, yeah. But that's 100% copper right there. No kidding. Yeah, this is just a very fine mesh. Well, it doesn't have any of the copper color, isn't that No, it doesn't. Isn't that crazy? It's so... Oh. Microscope. I mean, it's just amazing mesh. I don't so have you can any see idea through this just fine. Right. You can actually press this between two pieces of PVC or uh, the the plastic, clear plastic, yeah. and you can actually see exactly uh, right so through your monitor. So that could also be used to uh, to 
high to monitor. But here's the deal, though. You have to know that you have to look at the grade of copper mesh because every single different grade of mesh blocks a certain frequency. Uh -huh. So the tighter it is together, it's going to block a different range than if it's spread out a little bit. And it does, tighter is not necessarily going to get everything. It's not like a sieve. Exactly. It has to do with the wavelength. Exactly. Right. So if you want to block cell phones, let's say you want to block cell phones, you own a movie theater, yeah. and you're, trying to, you're going to have to do the research, find out what ranges that the cell phones operate on, and then buy the appropriate copper mesh. Do, do they do that? Are, yeah. are theaters doing that? There's, I don't know of any theaters that are doing it, but uh, there's certain places where cell phones are not allowed. Certain government agencies that I know of have their, that are shielded with My this My gym type of is stuff. doing this, actually, in the locker room. So, that and actually, sense. I bet you the Pentagon, places like that, they've got Completely copper shield. mesh uh -huh. in the wall. They do. It, it's more practical than trying to put yourself in a box. Just put, the whole, put it in the whole building. Oh, you, what was that movie? Did you see that movie where they, he was completely surrounded by the, the copper gate? I oh, yeah, yeah. It was, um, uh, pardon me? Enemy, Enemy of the State. state. That's right. right. Gene Hackman. It was he had, wonderful. He had a yeah. Fahrenheit cage as well. Yeah, himself. yeah. He was a nutcase, but maybe he knew more than we realized. Yeah. Very cool stuff. Very Thank you, cool Kevin. stuff. Thanks so much to uh, P, uh, TWP Inc. You can okay. find plenty of links out there for their website all about the wire mesh, the Faraday cages, plus an explanation of Van Eck freaking. And we have so many different links and PDFs on our website. You can go to thescreensavers.com. All the links are there. Do you think we could Check build a Van Eck freak box? We probably could. We should get that Bunny uh, Wang on. He said that he could Bunny build one. Bunny thinks he can do it. He thinks, isn't that what he said, Josh? He's the guy yeah, who hacked he the he Xbox. He, he also he told us about some other spy devices he says he could build. All right, that we just got to give him some money and we'll get Bunny to yeah. do it. Oh, that wait a minute. We, were supposed, we weren't supposed to say that he could do it. Somebody else That's right. named um, Jack Rabbit.